In this tutorial, we're going to use Quantifier Pro to estimate the quantities and costs for a brick wall. So let's get started. So let's open up Quantifier Pro with this icon. And this is what the main dialog of Quantifier Pro looks like. Uh, when that dialog is open, you just have to click on the various objects in your model and Quantifier Pro will instantly report lengths, areas, volumes, weight, surface area of these entities. In order for Quantifier Pro to know the weight, you have to assign a density to the layer that the object is on. So let's do that now. I'm going to create a layer called Brick. And next, I need to make sure that the Brick objects are assigned to that layer. We still don't know the weight because we have to assign the density property by using layer cost data. Select the brick layer and we'll input the weight. Here we'll put in 1920 kilograms per cubic meter. And once we click OK, that setting is applied. And now when we click the same object, we get an instant report of the weight. In order to calculate cost for the brick, we need to assign cost data to the layer. And we'll do that again with the layer cost data panel. We can add a cost line with this button. Cost codes are optional, but we will just put in a generic cost code called brickwork. This line is in particular is for the brick material. The brick material, in this case, we know that there are seven bricks per square feet. So we want the quantity reported to be number of bricks. That's what this column is here. This unit is the unit that will be reported in the cost estimate report. So we're going to change that to say bricks. And now what we need to do is we need to have a conversion factor to convert from square feet to number of bricks. In this case, I know that there are seven bricks per square feet. So the multiplier is a simple number seven. Here the unit cost will refer to the, the unit that we have specified here. So we need uh, the unit cost per brick. Um, we're going to put 30 cents. The waste percentage value is used as an allowance for extra material that you might need due to cutting or just general wastage. We're going to add a 5% waste factor and 5% tax. We're going to keep adding more line items to account for the different costs associated with this wall. So next is the cement. Again, we'll use a square feet as the input quantity. The reported quantity, we want to be bags, bags of cement. And I've already worked out the number of bags per square feet that I need. So that value is 0 0.02. And the cost for one bag is $6 in my case. Again, I'll include a 5% waste allowance and a 5% tax. Moving on to sand. In this case, we're going to use cubic meters as our output reported quantity, and the input again will be square feet. So that conversion factor to convert from square feet of brick wall to cubic meters of sand is 0 0.0042. And the cost per cubic meter of sand that we'll use is $50. We'll apply our waste and tax one more time. And lastly, we will have a line for labor. Again, we'll use an input of square foot. And the reported unit we will have as man hours. In this case, I know my brick layer can lay eight square feet per hour. That results in a conversion factor of 0 0.125 man hours per square feet and he's going to charge me $60 an hour and he's really efficient so he's not going to have any waste associated with his work. Now we've applied four cost lines to this brick layer. So now when we click an object we can get an instant cost report. By selecting multiple objects you can get the total cost. To see the complete cost calculation open the cost inspector tool. Cost Inspector shows objects with cost data 
highlighted in green. If the object does not have cost data, it will show a red bounding box. When you click the object, you can see it instantly updates to show the complete cost calculation line by line. For this portion of wall, 698 bricks are required. And for this one, 882 bricks are required based on the data that we provided. Finally, to create a cost estimate, just choose Cost Detail Report and click the Create Report button. And we can get a complete summary of the cost of the model. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I really hope you enjoy using Quantifier Pro.